This is Stephen, and this question deals with your knowledge of percentages and finding the area of triangles. The question reads, if the length of a base of a triangle is increased by 10% and the height is decreased by 20%, what is the percent decrease in the area of the triangle? So we are changing the dimensions of a triangle by decreasing the height by 20% and increasing the base by 10%. Now you may be wondering how are you supposed to uh, do this without any measurements in the problem? Well the nice thing is with percentages it doesn't matter which values you use or if you have them as long you always get the same answer regardless of which measurements you actually use. So what I recommend you using when you are faced with this type of problem is a value that's easy to manipulate with percentages. You can do that with 100 since percentage is usually based out of 100, or you can use a multiple of that number, such a, or a factor of that number, such as 10. 10 is easy to manipulate as well. So let's make the base and the height of our triangle 10. So let's go ahead and manipulate these values. So let's start with the first part of the question, which is the base, and we're increasing it by 10%. So plus 10%. Now, and we'll just go ahead and draw our new triangle here. It doesn't matter what it looks like. So if we're increasing the base by 10%, 10% of 10 is 1. And so that increases it to 11. And to, for the second part of this problem, the height is decreased by 20%. 10% of 10, as we already said, is 1. So if we're increasing or decreasing it by 10% and then another 10% for 20% total, we're subtracting 2 from 10. Okay, so the measurements of our new triangle is the, the height is 8 and the base is 11. Now the area for a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the original triangle is 10 times 10 divided by 2 or 100 divided by 2 so the original area is 50. For this new triangle, 8 times 11 divided by 2 is 88 divided by 2, or 44. So the triangles, the original triangle's area is 50, and the new triangle's area is 44. So let's clear this up. And so to find the percent of change, or the percent of decrease in the case of this question, we need to use the formula P equals original minus new divided by original. And it needs to be the absolute value of that, since percentages is always positive. So our original was 50, and our new is 44. So our percent of change is equal to 50 minus 44, or the absolute value of that, divided by 50. So 50 minus 44 is 6, and our original is 50. Now since percentages, as I mentioned before, the denominator is usually out of 100, we can see that 50 is half of 100, so if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get 12 over 100. So the percent of change is 12%, which the answer choice is D.